What's up everyone, this is Mo Tutorials here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix OBS black screen in game capture or display capture. So as you can see right now, I have OBS open in Minecraft on my left hand side, and you can see Minecraft's actually being, you know, visibly shown up on my screen. So I'm going to kind of show you what you need to do to kind of fix this, and then I'm going to show you a couple of things. So the first thing is, obviously, always make sure you have the latest version of OBS. A lot of times, there's a lot of updates happening, so you, you just click on the top left hand corner, click check for updates, and then that's it. As as soon as this updated see if that kind of resolves the problem like delete the source retry again and then basically go from there if you're not sure how that even works you just click into the add button do game capture call it what you need to and then you choose the specific application are you trying to capture a full screen application are you capturing a specific window because then you can explicify which window you're trying to capture are you trying to capture uh uh, what's it called a uh, hot ground or key or something so yeah there's like a little different things that you can do and you can basically just go from there now um once this is basically done and let's let's just say you're still at the black screen the next thing you're going to do is you're going to make sure which version of uh, computers do you have is it a 32-bit or is it a 64-bit so we're going to go to this pc and in here uh any outside of any file or folder we're going to click into properties so you can see over here, the system type is 64 bit. So you do just have to be cognizant of that. Uh, once you kind of figure that out, you can close this out and we're going to go into the search bar and we're going to write OBS. So you may have the incorrect bit version installed. So just be cognizant of that. So if you, let's just say you had a 64 bit computer, but you had 32 bit installed, you got to find, you got to redownload the 64 bit version to make sure you get the right one. Now, let's just say you do that and it still doesn't work. This final one is usually what ends up helping a lot of people. You're going to right click into this and do open file location. And this will bring you to where the program is in here. We're going to basically right click into it and you could do open file location again and get to its main location, which is this is exactly where it is. That's more so like a shortcut. And in here, we are going to go to properties. And in here, we are going to go over to compatibility. So in here, you're going to do this basically run this program in compatibility mode four, and you can actually change it. So you can do Windows 8, 7, Vista, and then you can basically play around with those specific ones and kind of go from there. The other one I would want you to definitely do is run this program as an administrator. So it'll always run this program as an administrator. And a lot of times that could be the reasoning to why it's failing because it's like not an admin. So it's like, oh, what, what is, what's happening? This is not that. This this so it just doesn't end up running once you do that you just basically click apply save close out of this reopen obs tr do the game capture method like i mentioned and then you should be good to go so yeah <laughs> that's basically it. that's how you fix the obs black screen and game capture or display capture um if you overall guys like this video please smash that like button helps a lot if you guys are still stuck or have any other comments questions concerns, so let me know in the comment section below and if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell and that more tutorials out peace